guys welcome back to my channel it is michelle here if you are new here hey welcome go ahead hit that subscribe button and join this family here i have another hair video for you guys oh i am so in love with this hair if you want a realistic look this hair is for you. Before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to Julia Hair for sponsoring this video. This is their realistic 4C kinky hair. You guys, I look like I grew this out of my own scalp. Like, I look like I grew this hair out of my own scalp and I absolutely love it. This hair is so soft. This hair is so soft. I 100% recommend if you're a natural girly and you want your wigs to look really natural, this hair is for you, okay? I love this hair so, so much. This is their Realistic 4C Kinky Edges. This I just came with the hair, you guys. I barely had to do much work to it. It is 100% human hair. And this hair is super gorgeous. A direct link for this hair, guys, will be in my description box below. This frontal is a 13 by 4 frontal. The density of this hair is so thick, you guys. It is so thick. You are not gonna get scraps. They gonna fill this wig up for you. It is so gorgeous. And I believe this hair is about 22 inches. But this hair is super gorgeous and I love the color so much. But yes, guys, let's get into the details of how I installed this natural look, okay? Let's get into the detail. So for this hair install, I decided to do the bald cap method. This is their ultra thin cap. This cap is literally perfect for the bald cap method. It's so, so thin and it's easy to use. I then went in with my ebon adhesive spray, sprayed around the parameter and then blow dried the hair until it wasn't sticky anymore. I then went ahead and attached um, my actual headband to the cap so that the cap actually stays when I realized that doing this keeps the cap on so after a little while maybe about five to ten minutes i go ahead and just cut the excess off to create my new hairline i then make sure that i cut out the ears um, both on each side so that my ears are exposed because we don't want um, the wig cap covering our actual ears and this requires a lot of precision so you just have to be patient while doing this So I went ahead and tinted the lace with my makeup to get it to match my skin tone. Um, I then went ahead and applied the head on without the adhesive. This is just to measure where exactly I wanted it to sit. I kind of maneuvered it around until I got it to fit perfectly or to my desired liking. And then I realized that there was a bit of some excess hair that I would have to cut off. Um, so I went ahead and did that a little later, which I'll show you guys. But once I had the hair on, I went ahead and kind of plucked a little bit. Um, I wanted the edges to look a little bit more realistic, not too full. So I went ahead and just did that to the edges, plucked until my heart was satisfied. Um, this part is not that necessary, but if you feel like you want your edges to look a little bit more sporadic, then you can go ahead and pluck with a tweezer. Um, this is usually how I pluck my wig to get the front to look a little bit more realistic.
right, so time for the actual wig application. I went ahead and tinted the actual wig cap part so that it blends in with my skin a bit better before I glued the wig down because I want everything to look as realistic as possible. I want people to think that this is growing out of my scalp, okay? So I used my makeup, which matches my skin tone, to achieve the look. I then went in with my Got To Be Glue Ultra Glue. This is how I attached the hair onto my head. I went in and just applied it all across the parameter of my hair and then went ahead and blow dried it until it was a bit tacky and then I attached the hair on. After blow drying the hair for about 10 minutes, I kept the band on for an extra like 30 minutes while doing like household chores so that it sticks and then took the band off and then I decided to cut the excess lace off um, around the parameter so that I actually see the actual hairline. This requires a lot of precision so be patient and just get as close to the hairline as possible and just cut the excess hair off. So I then moved on to styling the hair. I opted for a middle part look. Before I did the edges, I wanted to create the middle part and then I would shape the edges to the middle part. So I just went down and split it. And this hair is so soft, you guys. It is so soft and it's so easy to use, easy to like part. Um, I went in and used my um, motions. Is it motions? My load of body, <laughs> my load of body hair mousse, and I use that to really like maneuver the baby hairs around. I did that a couple of times. Um, sometimes baby hairs require a lot more attention, so just get in there and manipulate it as much as you can. the edges I then went ahead to straighten the hair um, I wanted a bust down middle part natural kinky as if like I had just gotten a blowout um, so I went ahead and split the hair some more in the middle and then uh, straightened my hair with my baby bliss straightener and this hair was so easy to manipulate um, to straighten um, after that you guys will see that I go in with my glue to and then a hot comb to really get this to melt that part is absolutely necessary you guys straightening the hair and using the the little stick the glue stick and then hot combing is essential which you guys will see the transformation Thank you guys so much for watching this video please go ahead and click the link in the description box below to purchase this hair as well do not forget to give me a thumbs up of course subscribe to my channel if you've not already and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye